Hopefully my head's not cut off. Hey, I'm Rama with Creation Landscape Designs or Southern Landscapes. I'm actually here in my own patio garden in Santa Ana. And there's a fly roaming by. So I wanted to make this video to tell you exactly what type of landscapes I design and how my design process works. So I design about 98% residential landscapes and some commercial landscapes. Now specifically with residential landscapes, it's varying situations of landscapes. For example, maybe you bought your house 30 years ago and you had your landscape done then. It was kid friendly, the kids were young, now the kids have fled the nest and your landscape is just not exactly suited to your taste because after 30 years, tastes change. Or maybe you bought the house five, ten years ago, you renovated the interior, but then you had kids and so financially you kind of got pushed in a different direction, but now you're ready to do something for the landscape. Or maybe you just bought the house and whatever landscape is there was done by the previous owner, if anything at all, and you just don't like it. Or maybe you bought a house that's just newly constructed where there is no landscape at all. And that is where I would come in to help you design your landscape. And the landscapes that I design are energy efficient, drought tolerant, a mixture of California native and California friendly plants, and most importantly, the kind of landscapes that not only reduce your water bill and energy bills, but increase your property value, which is very important in this economy. You don't want to just have some any kind of landscape that decreases your property value and makes you spend more money, that's not quite what the aim is here at designing any landscape. Now in regards to the services I provide and the specifics of how my services work, well, first I meet with the client for an hour and yes, I charge to come out $50 per half hour or 100 bucks an hour and the point of why I charge to come out is to ensure that you're genuinely serious in working with a designer. Then, in that hour, we meet. Thoroughly go over what it is that you're looking to do with the space. What is it about the space that you like, dislike, what is your budget and how much can you realistically afford. And then, I will also give you tons of ideas about what will work realistically within your landscape. And these ideas will be very specific to you and your landscape that may not work for someone else but might work beautifully for you. And this is also a time, if you've collected images or anything else about the things that you like, where we can take a look at that, go over it, and I can tell you, well, yes, this would work beautifully, or this might not work, it might be a little too expensive, and come up with alternatives. Then, I email a design contract, typically through email. Now. You might be thinking contracts are a scary business. They're actually not. The whole point of having a design contract is that it ensures you, the homeowner, that whatever price tag I put into the contract is exactly what you'll pay me, not a cent more. But it also ensures me as the designer that you are going to be willing to work with me. Then I collect a 20% deposit and then I have someone come out to measure the site to make sure that the measurements that I'm working off of are very accurate. Now there are some cases where people have existing drawings of their property, which is fine, I can work with that. Usually that's not the case. Then once that's been done, I also take site analysis of the site in terms of where's the sun areas, the areas that get more shade, so then you can't put plants that need full sun in a shady area. Where are elements of the garden that for whatever reason must stay? Where's the different views of the garden? How do we want to frame these views from say the kitchen window or the living room window or whatnot? And then I create two concept drawings. And these concept drawings are ideas of what is possible for your landscape. These ideas are based off of what you can realistically afford, what it is that you're looking to accomplish with your garden and also my vision for the space. Then we meet, thoroughly go over these concept drawings, and I will have photographs of the whatever materials I'm proposing, from photographs of various plant materials to hard surfaces, whatever it is that we're doing, this will be the time to 
hash it out and thoroughly go over it and make sure that it's all accurate and clear and to the point. Now, you might say, okay, well, I like this concept drawing. Or you might say, well, you know what, I like the backyard of this and the front yard of this. Can we mix it? Of course. And that's what this process is about, is going through and understanding based on these concepts that will work well in your garden, what aspects you like, dislike, and we can kind of mesh the two together. Or maybe there's one concept you like the best and we go with it. Then, if applicable, I will take you, the client, to a nursery to look at the proposed plant material or to a building supply place to look at the proposed hard surfaces if we're doing any hardscape. And this is the time for you to look at the plants. If I propose a plant that has yellow flowers, are you going to like the yellow flowers? But at least you'll get to see it in real life and see what it looks like in real life and be able to gauge. Now I don't take every client to a nursery. In some cases, some clients are so clear about the types of plants that they do like and the colors that they do like, that it may not even be necessary. Then from here, once we've agreed on a concept design, I create a final drawing that is very, very detailed. Now these detailed drawings, for example, the planting, it shows where each of the plants are located. The name of the plant, the quantity, the size of the plant. There's no beating around the bush. And these are detailed drawings that not only can a contractor bid off of, but your HOA can accurately review if you've got an HOA. And if you're thinking, look, I don't need to submit to the HOA, I highly suggest you do for two reasons. First of all, because they will know. If you don't submit the drawings and you do something to the landscape, they will know. And secondly, the benefit of submitting to the HOA is if you don't submit, they'll find you and then you'll have a bigger headache. So then, once we've done the final drawings, if you have to submit to an HOA, then we submit to an HOA. Then what we do is get a contractor to come out to bid the job. Now I work with a network of licensed, bonded, insured contractors who itemize all their bids who work one project at a time, who don't beat around the bush, pussyfoot around, they do their job, they do their job well, and if they didn't, I wouldn't refer them or ever work with them again. And I'll have one contractor come out, bid the job. If you decide you'd like a second bid, possibly a third bid, that's fine. We can get multiple bids. And then, from there, you can say, okay, you know what, we met with these contractors, because I meet with each contractor as well as having you there to meet with the contractor. And you say, okay, we met with these three contractors. Their price tag is eh, a little bit off of each other, not significant. But you know, I liked the personality of that guy a little better. So then we go with that guy. Now there are some instances where the homeowner says, actually, you know what? I already have a contractor that I'm working with. That's fine. If you've already got a contractor and you're comfortable with that contractor and his or her price tag, you can work with that. And I've had instances where the homeowner says, you know what, all I'm doing is just putting a few plants in the garden, I can probably do that myself and that's perfectly fine. At the end of the day, it is whatever makes you feel comfortable. Now, once we've met with the contractor, gone over the bids, the contractor will then prepare a bid that is very detailed and itemized. X number of dollars for demolition, X number of dollars for new planting materials plus labor. Everything will be detailed and itemized so you can see what every aspect of the project costs. And these contractors that I work with do one project at a time. So if they're at your house working on your project, they're not everywhere else working on someone else's job. They're just at your job and then they'll move on to someone else when your job is finished. And while the contractor is installing the project, I will come up periodically to make sure everything's flowing smoothly, to make sure that everything's going well. I will come out to place all the plant materials and in some cases I might be able to purchase the plant material depending on the size of the job. But the point is that with my design services, you're getting a detailed 
service that meets every square inch of all the lifestyle aspects you'd like to achieve with your garden. And you're hiring a professional. Now I, specifically in my background, have a Bachelor of Science in Landscape Architecture from Cal Poly Pomona. I spent about 10 years working full-time for a licensed landscape architect before choosing to fly solo. And I've been essentially flying solo, self-employed on my own for 10 years. So I've had four years of educational training and 20 years of real-world experience designing landscapes, which you are more than welcome to take advantage of.